Just over two weeks ago, two different tractor trailers wrecked and caught fire on I-64 just within a mile of each other in Cabell County. Yeah, you know, the crashes happened just hours apart and it led to chaos, complete shutdowns, an extreme challenge to say the least for first responders. And as WSAZ's Tim Ear reports, that's when this week's hometown heroes really stepped up. This is the only way to move, is to walk. For most of the day, it was either a parking lot or a ghost town because traffic has been shut down. It all began with a boom. First crash occurred in the early morning hours on November 7th in the westbound lanes of I-64 between the Merritt Creek and 29th Street exit. Several hours later, a second crash with nearly identical results in the eastbound lanes right by the Merritt Creek exit. For these guys, they got the first calls and they went out and knocked it out of the park. Got people out of the area as safely as possible, open the interstate back up as quickly as possible. And I know that people get frustrated, but these guys do go, go above and beyond duty, the call of duty every day. Strong words of support from the mayor for Barbersville police and fire, and he's not alone. I've dealt with fire departments and police departments from upstate New York to Beaufort, South Carolina on the interstates and the byways and the roadways, and these guys are the best. Jack and the crew from Triton Construction were pressed into service themselves, having to quickly rebuild barriers and lay asphalt immediately after the accident. A true team effort. We consider our, the construction people up there, they're first responders as well because they jumped in, they've helped us. Jack from Triton and the mayor agree. Heroes showed up that day. It's the group effort between these guys and that's what we all appreciate and that's what that's what makes Barbara unique and that's what makes Barbara so great is the people that, that work and help and, and take care of the town. You know, when you speak about a hero, you're talking about someone who possesses courage, nobility, and strength, and that exempt uh, every member of the Barbersville Police and Fire Department exemplifies that. It was something we already knew within ourselves. These, these, everyone standing back here, they are my hero. Like many heroes, these guys want to pass the praise around. At one point, every volunteer fire department in the county assisted us with uh, the situations that we had up on the interstate. So uh, the teamwork is, is there, and um, we all work great with each other. No one ever likes accidents, but when they happen, it's good to have great people around. Tim here, WSAZ, Barbersville. Now, Chief Fraser told us they weren't out there alone. He says they couldn't have done it without all the help from their other neighboring departments. So giving and spreading that love there. And if someone you know has proven to be a hero, we'd love to hear from you. You can contact us a number of ways on your screen. Uh, news at WSAZ.com is the best way to email us. And then you can write a letter to both of those addresses there on the screen.